is it really the end of the Hufflepuff Queen? Or is it just because this crown is too uncomfortable? Hey there Potterpuffs, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very unusual and like life-changing video. Maybe not for you, but for me. That's a little over dramatic. I'm very, very excited because today marks the start of something new. The Hufflepuff Queen will be no more. But don't worry, that title was dramatic and it is true, but things are only going to be changing for the better around here. I love my channel. I love what I've done with it. I love my Instagram, but it was time I felt late last year to mix things up a little bit and create more of an established brand for myself. Now, hang on, I'm going into this way too fast. If you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe. But now it's not to the Hufflepuff Queen, it's to flourish and bloss. Everything's going to remain the same. You are going to love the new content on this channel, but there are some changes to be made around here. And I'm going to explain it all in one second. I think you guys have got very attached to the Hufflepuff Queen as a persona now, which is amazing. I love the fact that it caught on. It's a very, very random name for me to have chosen. And you may have heard in previous videos, the reason behind the name and why I chose it back two years ago when I started. The Hufflepuff Queen was created with little to no thought put into it. And that is me being brutally honest. I didn't do it for any of this to happen. I would never have dreamt of becoming a YouTuber or even creating an account on Instagram, which lots of people would follow. Literally wasn't for that reason. I just thought people were getting bored of me constantly posting Harry Potter related photos on my personal account. My love for Harry Potter had been reignited because of the fact I had been sorted into Hufflepuff that year and also Fantastic Beasts was the main reason. I then got excited about the house editions as I've told you recently in another video and I thought oh I want to collect a few more Harry Potter items again and it became a bit of an obsession. I often get attached to things and want to do things and I don't do them by halves. I always go hard or go home and I start collecting. So the Hufflepuff Queen became an account in July 2017. So we've hit the two year mark. Instagram was a great platform. I had no idea that there was such a thing as Harry Potter Instagram. No idea at all. I just looked for other Harry Potter accounts after I started mine. I worked in a call centre at the time. I was in bed one morning waiting for my boyfriend to get ready for work. And I thought, oh, I'm going to create another account. And I was sat in bed and I didn't know what to call it. So I just thought Hufflepuff Queen because I love Hufflepuff and Queen fits. No thought was put into it. That's what I went with. And funnily enough, I started following accounts that day and got banned off my original account. If you notice on my Instagram, I've got a one at the end of the Hufflepuff Queen. And that is because I somehow managed to follow too many accounts too quickly and get banned. That's how I started my humble beginnings just a couple of years ago. After that, September came. I started a YouTube because things were going so well on Instagram. People were loving it. I'd done a few live videos. Check out that video from last year if you want to see how I became a YouTuber and why. YouTube began. YouTube took off very, very slowly, but over time it gathered momentum. Same with the other Hufflepuff Queen accounts. And then I just became known as who I am today, the Hufflepuff Queen. People call me Queenie, Queen. It just happened. And I think you Potterpuffs have become quite attached to the idea and like it as it is. So that's why it's quite tricky to step my toes into the water and change everything now. Over time, my persona has grown online and you guys have come to love the kind of fun, bubbly person that I am, the persona that I put on on camera, which is really just an extension of the real me. I'm not different on camera. If you met me in real life, you would notice that I'm pretty much exactly the same. I've got a loyal fan base of all you Potterpuffs. And it's very important to me that I keep that loyal fan base. And that's why I'm explaining this all to you in this video properly. So you don't just unsubscribe from me because of this name change. So why am I making this change? Why are things changing on this channel? Well, lots of other Harry Potter YouTubers have done it, but that's not the reason I'm doing it. Lots of YouTubers in general often change their content around and what they're doing. But that's also not what I'm doing. The content will remain the same. You'll be getting lots of Harry Potter videos as always, 
and along with the new style content which I've already been implementing since January this year, such as week in my life vlogs, reading videos, 22 things I've learnt before, wait, 25 things I've learnt before I turn 25, and kind of positivity videos. So we're doing lifestyle, we're doing Harry Potter, and that's all going to remain the same. But that still hasn't answered your question. Well, I felt that now I've grown to the size that I have, I'm very, very grateful to every single person who has subscribed to me, followed me, commented, liked, given videos, thumbs up, subscribed to me. I think I've already said that. Just everyone who's been a part of my journey to where I am today. And I felt that I've got to the level now where I wanted to make this Hufflepuff queen or my personal kind of brand, I don't know if that's the right word for it, my own. I'm lucky enough now to partner with other companies and brands to promote Harry Potter products and other things. And I wanted to make this all my own idea. And Hufflepuff is a word very much associated with Harry Potter, which is fine, but it's not my word. It's actually trademarked. And that's not the reason it's changing again. It's just because I felt I wanted to do something that was completely my own. I'm very creative. This change gives my channel and online presence a whole new lease of life. And I can start things completely from scratch in a way that I probably would have started them if I'd have known that the Hufflepuff Queen was gonna become a thing and I would have become a YouTuber. You Potterpuffs know me now, not just as the Hufflepuff Queen, but also a lot of you know my real name. You know what I'm like, you know my quirks and the way I am on camera and on Instagram. So I kind of feel that you've got to know me enough now to be able to just accept I am Bloss, Blossom, whatever you'd like to call me. I am known as the Hufflepuff Queen, but really underneath, I'm just Bloss. And that's what I want you guys to know me as now. You can still call me the Hufflepuff Queen if you want to. It's not like it's going to offend me. I'm absolutely fine with still being referred to as that, but you can just call me Bloss. It just makes things a lot simpler. Now the name I can't even take credit for. Flourish and Bloss was not a name I thought of. It was by one of you guys actually, and I feel really bad. Please comment down below if you were the lovely Potterpuff who actually thought of the name because I want to give you a proper shout out. And because I've had a few messages since then, I've totally forgotten. But I appreciate that name so much because couldn't be more perfect. And I'm sure I don't have to spell it out to you guys, but we all know what Flourish and Bloss stands for, right? It's basically like a little code word because anyone who's a Harry Potter fan knows that Flourish and Bloss is the bookshop in Harry Potter and I am Bloss. So Flourish and Bloss works perfectly because of the positivity vibes on my channel. We can use the word Flourish and Bloss for me. So it literally suits me to the ground, fits me like a glove. I am so excited that that is my new online name. I couldn't have come up with that myself. So thank you to whoever came up with that amazing idea. Loads of you guys sent in ideas for names in January when I was looking. So I really, really appreciate that. You have all been so helpful, so kind to me and I can't wait to start this new chapter of my channel. Another person I really need to thank is Mamta from Geeklets. She is one of my very best friends and she has literally created all my new channel art, all of my new like little swishy logos and things. She's helped create everything, the new title intro. So I'm very grateful to her for being able to help me with that because she has great technical skills. I love the new look for my channel. It's looking amazing and I hope you like it too. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of the new look and what your opinion is on me becoming Flourish and Bloss. So to end the video, what does this mean for all of you? It just means I'm called a different name essentially. My online presence will remain the same, but what you may find or you will find is my look will be a lot more polished, including my intros and my look on Instagram and Facebook. It will all kind of match a bit better I'm going to work on my aesthetic feed and we'll have a few new types of videos which we've already started implementing so anything that's to do with harry potter positivity lifestyle happiness it's just going to be a really positive friendly online space like it already is and i want you guys to be able to escape you shouldn't need to escape but if you want some escapism in your life then you can come to my channel for some happiness one final thing I want to say before I go today is the Potterpuff name is remaining the same. 
you are still all going to be potter puffs. I wasn't going to take it too far and change something as important as that. So you will all remain my loyal potter puffs. And I hope that you all stick with me through this change and enjoy it and embrace it because it's still going to be the channel that you all know and love. I will see you again very, very soon. And I can't wait to hear what you think of my rebrand. Bye potter puffs. Thank you.